the one falcon. Oops, just finished that choker fan out of frame. The one falcon off alley. Uh, on October 21st, give or take, I bought it, got here on the 10th. After I got the email that it was shipped, I didn't get the email that it was out for delivery, that it even arrived in the US. After, if you're checking your email to see if your knife is out for delivery yet from Ali, no point. Once you get the shipping email, just no point in checking the website. Um, Because they won't really update you at all. Maybe they'll update the tracking information. Not that I've seen, though. Couple days, like two, three days, give or take, before I got here, I checked nothing. Same thing from the second it shipped. So, uh, yeah. Um, once I got this knife, I flipped it for a bit, and then I took it apart. I took it apart, uh, cleaned it, uh, took off all the, got all the dust and grime off as well, um, and then locked it. I put it back together, locked it, and then waited. I put it partially back together and then and then Loctite in and then put Loctite thread lock around the insides of these uh, pivot holes and then put the pivots inside. Waited 20 hours, give or take. I locked it in at 5 a.m. No, 5 p.m. And then I started flipping it again at 10, 11 a.m. So sort of 11, so like 18 hours. Uh, 12 is the minimum. 24 is the preferable like 12 is like you can flip it 12 but i want to wait a bit longer so 24 is it's between 12 and 24 so the closer to 24 the better um flex specs so these i believe are tang pins t9 screws pretty weird um handles are blocky as shit i have a little aesthetic issue down there but it's whatever um this blade kind of reminds me of uh, the mambo the mambo mambo whatever um, there's a nice ring to it. It's the trainer, as you can see. Just did a choker fan without moving my arm. Getting better. Try that again. It's gonna fall, so. But yeah, those are the specs. Um, only thing I'm not sure of is of the tank pins. I'm pretty sure they're tank pins. Um, I locked at those two, actually. I'll probably do that later. As you can see in the middle, I over oiled it a little bit too much. Like, you know, I over a bit too much grease. But this thing lube sounds pretty nice. Blade, stainless steel, heat treated. Um, uh, once I got it, I cleaned it, took out all the dust, the grime, um, dirt, just dirt. And like I said, I walked it, it, lubed it. Just got a message on Discord. Um, I out of the book. Just tap. Yeah, I like that. Tap. And then play. I don't know if you can see that. Take this hair off. It's the play is like okay. Like to actually show you the play, I'm gonna have to do this. Look at this. There is almost no play. It is at the minimum. Uh, if you don't now. If you don't have, don't get this as your first knife because you should have at least some tuning experience. Especially with lower end knives like the Squiddy, Mako, stuff like that. Uh, unless, I mean, you, this is a good beginner knife, but like, you have to know, learn how to tune or already know how to tune. Um, you know, just is really shit. But, um, out of the box, the tap was a lot worse. I've dropped this thing on concrete and the solid floor a couple times. Not the, not just the carpet. I've dropped it more on this than I have the carpet. And um, it's to hold up pretty well. Uh, it's, it's, it 
also has these for grip. This is, I'm pretty sure, an original design. These millings on the side are like, like the Kraken, like the Kraken and the Kraken clone are actually super, a lot more convenient than I thought they would be for Joker fan. A lot more convenient than I thought they would be for Choker. Oops, right, that Choker, I missed that one. Oops. That one fell on my shoe. It's pretty inconvenient. Yeah. Um. What else, what else, what else? Um, let's see. We're now for rollovers, this thing. The, the Squiddy B probably does better rollovers, maybe. I'm not sure. Let's keep at least a rollover in frame. The rollovers that are on this thing are pretty good, yeah. Let's see, we just hold one handle. I think on every knife holding one handle, rollovers are good. Let's try aerials. I'll stand up just to do aerials. Cut the blade. I cut the blade again. What the fuck? I suck. That was not in frame. Cut. Okay. okay. Let's pretend that didn't just happen. Let's try this again. Yup. <laughs> Looking at the cameras to make sure it's in frame. See that? Okay. Let me try. An ice pick. Oops. So yeah, aerials on this thing actually work. I'd say pretty well. Uh, but just for infor just for your information, you should know that I'm comparing this to the. Wait. Yeah. I'm comparing this to the Mako. The, I'm comparing this to the Squiddy, the Squiddy B, and the Mako. I like how the, I like the ringing sound when you catch it. So, for anyone who has has had a Mako or currently has a Mako, with when I mean like a Mako like mine, I'll show you my Mako in a second. Let me just. If you have a Mako like mine, let's see, that is severely beat up. You know, handle slap across the board, bruised and beaten. Somehow less tap than that thing. Um, I think it's because the. I think that's because um. It has no handle gap anymore. Um, its blade is not treated. Uh, if you have a Mako like this, do you rem if you remember when it out of the box how Mako flips compared to when it's tuned badly. Compared to when it's tuned badly Oops. compared to when it's tuned badly or just not taken care of properly because a Mako requires a lot of effort to keep it in tip top shape um this thing flips like think a Mako uh, like, think of an out of, out of a box pristine Mako but better in every way and it'll last you longer and it's half the price Less than half the price. One second. All right, we're back. Um, what was I talking about? Um, yeah. It's it's a really good knife. I would recommend it if you know how to tune and whatnot. Oh, yeah. Didn't mention finger fanning. I don't really know how to finger fan properly, so I do like a, a reverse double rollout whenever I do it. Like a triple rollout, I guess. I don't know. 
Um, anything else I should cover? Chaplains. Wait. Chaplains feel amazing on this thing. Like, I'm not even gonna lie. They, like, they feel great. I wanna get one completely in frame. Yeah. They feel great. Um, let's try a vertical. Let's try a bit of an odd chaplain. Yeah. Perfectly fine. Yep. Joker fans are great on this thing. I'm not gonna cut. They're they're amazing. Um They're amazing. Um make sure to take care of this thing. Lock tight it the second these things are coming out. Lock tight the tank pings, which I have yet to do. Lock tight the pivots. Lock tight every screw on this thing you can. After you locked it up for as close to 20 hours as you can go. I put, like once you get home from school, at typically around 350, give or take, depending on where you live. But depending on where you live, you should uh, lock tight it when you get home from school. And then when you get home from school the next day, or when you wake up, it'll be completely done. Um, thankfully, I have three valleys now. I don't know. Mandex after repair. I don't have the stuff to do so. So, if I'm locked adding this one, I can use this one. If I'm locked adding both, I can use this one. Unlikely. Oh, I'm never gonna tune this thing, by the way. Build quality on the Mako is great, actually. I know we're not talking about the Mako, but this thing, the tolerances are horrible. The blade is horrible, but it, it'll never just snap apart. And this thing's booting through everything. Sand. Freaking sand. Goddamn. This thing, this thing has not, this thing has been put, has partially been put to the test. I haven't put it completely through the test, but, God, come on, I want, an in, I want a mostly in-frame choker fan. Yep. But I've put this thing through its, like, I'm still stretching it out, I guess is the word. You know, where you flip it and it. It gets used to, like, okay, so let me actually show you guys the lubricant I was using. One second. The lubricant I was using is this one. It is treadmill belt lubricant, 100% silicone. The silicone oil is very good. Um, I remember using that super lube down there at one point. It never works. I don't know what it does. Like I think it works on bearing knives. Um, super lube works good on bearing knives. Uh, KPO works well on bushing and washer knives. You need KPO heavy for bearings. Unless you want to apply very specific amounts in moderation to bearing knives. So, yeah. That's kind of all I got to say. Oh, yeah, the blade, really nice. Like, it has some aesthetic issues, if you can see. Not just fingerprints. Kind of hard to see. You have to see it in person in the light and stuff, but yeah, that. But it's irrelevant. I do have some aesthetics issues on mine. Check, check the corners. Personally, I don't really care. It's a forty dollar knife. I'll cut it some slack. But yeah, I would recommend this thing if you know how to tune. Definitely, and if you have patience. So yeah, and the money pay for that one. Let me try one more area before I go. Oops. Okay. Um, if you have the money, pay for the faster shipping, which I believe is called the DHL shipping. 
you pay for DHL shipping, it'll come much sooner than usual. Mine came in around two and a half weeks. Yours might come in two weeks or less. If you pay like the extra five, ten dollars or something. But uh, yeah, all I got to say about this thing, I would without a doubt recommend it. So yeah, I will see you guys in the next one. Oops. Come on, I'm stalling right now. Peace.